going on with you YouTube? Jumping Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And we're here in the car vlog all the way to the mall vlog. That's right. Because today's release is the Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined. Now, I know there's going to be some mixed reviews out there. Maybe some people like them. Maybe some people don't. I mean, in my opinion, out of all the reimagined series that has dropped before, this is probably one of the weakest ones. I mean, the Royal Ones in general are not the craziest hype Air Jordan ones out there. Everyone loves the Chicago's. Everyone loves the bread colorways. But the Royal colorways, since it's blue, maybe some people don't like it. I like them though. One of the Royal Air Jordan ones that I have in my collection in 2001 or 2000. It's actually one of my grills. I love those things. And it has a number and everything like that. So I have worn those quite a bit. I'm actually wearing my 2017 pair. I haven't worn those in a while just to go ahead and pick these reimagined Royals. I must say, I am not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest fan. Matter of fact, I don't think it's the greatest Air Jordan 1 out there or the greatest reimagines or the greatest Royals. I mean, they're okay. They're fine. I'm sure a lot of people would love them and like them. But I feel like this year in 2023, they really kind of dropped the ball on the reimagined ones. I mean, the Pet and Bread Jordan ones were okay. The Lost and Founds were legit. That was actually really, really fire. But the Royal reimagine, uh, the suede, that's the thing. This all upper suede, the entire shoe is suede suede. If you guys haven't seen my review and on feet and all that stuff, make sure you guys check them out. I gave my whole detailed review on what I thought about them. But today's vlog is going to do a pickup and because these things were fairly, fairly easy to get. No problem at all. Matter of fact, I predict that these things are going to sit. They will not sell out. I'm not saying it's a bad shoe because I'm sounding like I'm complaining and all that. I'm not saying it's a bad shoe by any means. It's fine. It looks great. But it's just one of those things where it's like, I mean, if you already had the Royal 2017, you already had the Royal, you know, Royal Air Jordan 1s, even if you even have the blue marinas, do you really need this pair? I mean, it's suede. The blue is a little lighter, though. I'll give them that. The blue is a little bit lighter. It's more vibrant. So if you like that, it's definitely a cop. But anyways, man, we're going to go check these things out. Got a W. You know, like I said, you could probably pick these things up tomorrow, later on the day, and you'll be just fine. Rocking the 2017 pair here, Jordan 1 Royals, and it even has the tumble, tumble, tumble. These are the GOAT. The GOAT. Just need a nine and a half, please. Something sitting. Cherry 12s. Size seven and a half. There's probably only small sizes left. I bet probably the bigger size is done. These will be forever. Be sitting satin sitting too. And I knew these were gonna sit. But it's clean though. It's a clean pair. I didn't pick these up. Might go outlets. Or even these joints. Sand sitting. This is crazy times, guys. Crazy. Whew. Years ago, you guys already know. Years ago in 2023, these things would have been like three, four hundred dollars. No cap. Uh, Look, I did a, already did a review. The box is dope. The shiny Royal Navy Nike Air, or not Navy, Royal Blue. Go on the top, shiny. Get the flat black, which is cool. Voila. Wow, freaking law, y'all. How you guys feel about them? Like I said, I already did a comparison. Do you like better? See the 2017, which is leather, or the suede suede? Hmm. I'm just gonna pick them up just to pick them up, guys. That's, I don't know why sometimes, but I just do. But I mean, they're not bad by any means. Not bad at all. But are they great? No. But they're not bad. So, all right, fam. Is it a cop? You guys comment down below. Are these a cop? Must cop? I think majority of people are gonna say no, and some people are gonna say yeah. So hey, if you love them, cool, man. But I'm gonna say honestly, you might not need a cop today. These actually might hit outlets. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. These might hit outlets, but it's all right. Just get them now while they're getting Before. score. Thank you. All right, thank you, fam. 
appreciate you. All right, guys, so back at the crib, man. So we got the reimagined Royals that some people's gonna like and some people might not like these joints. I mean, me personally, I just think they're just okay. They're not bad, but they're not great. People are gonna sleep on these things. Uh, didn't look like these things actually sold out. So, and I expected that, you know, uh, we saw how it was with EA and it just seemed like majority of people just don't like the suede suede, which is a, hey, it's okay. If a lot of people don't like it, cool. And people that do love it, love them, great. But just saying, I think these things will probably end up being on the outlets, probably for a discount price. We're seeing a lot of Air Jordan ones that's been sitting in lately, and these are probably not gonna do any different because the resale price on these things are like non-existent. Matter of fact, I think these things are actually going for under retail on release date. So the other reimagined series that we had, the Lost and Found, a lot of people are gonna call these the GOAT, which I agree. The patent leather braids that came out uh, two years back, and now we got the reimagines. And let's also not forget the white cement reimagines, which I think in my personal opinion, look, you guys think I hate reimagines. Not, not really, as long as they executed well. These are actually probably gonna be my sneaker of the year, if not at least top three. These are freaking fire. One of the best shoes that ever come out. Reimagine threes. And I love the white cements. One of my favorite shoes of all time. Now, for what I'm hearing for 2024, we know we're gonna get the bread reimagined with it's gonna be all leather. Stay tuned, I'll have a whole video about that because I did a little early, early. Um, but from what I'm hearing, and shouts to Mr. Unlove One, usually he knows all the information. Him and Z Sneakerhead are usually on it, so shouts to them. He said next year for the Air Jordan One reimagined, we should be happy. All right, so it's gonna be something good. I think in 2024, it's, go it's gonna be such a major jump year. Like 2023 has such been kind of eh type of year. But next year, I think everything is gonna be much more better. And hopefully we'll see a possible thing kind of narrow down. A lot of people think we might get the Black Toe or the Storm Blues. I'll be excited for either one. We haven't seen the Storm Blue in a long time. The I don't think we should get a, uh, the Black Toes because we just got the lows last year. But, hey, whatever Nike wants to do. I'm just excited for it. And he did say it won't be vintage, it won't be patent leather, and it won't be suede. So I'm very, very curious to see what we're going to see next year in 2024. Let's hope it's something good. He did say we'll be happy. So we'll wait for that. Anyway, guys, you guys comment down below. Did you guys end up copping? The Reimagined Royals. How you guys feel about these things? Pop, is it a pass? Are these trash? Or are these fire? You guys let me know. Anyway, guys, hey, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at Jumpercrest and IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumpin' Chris. Peace. Pew.